Hey, this is King of the Flames, and today we're playing Igneous. And I hope you guys don't get spikes in your video, because this is the third time I've done this, trying to get the spikes out. Apparently I can only run fraps at 40 FPS for this game, because the visuals are just so freaking awesome. This is, um, it's mostly a tech demo, made by some, uh, some students at DigiPen, which I really impressed me, because... Uh, there's no way I could do this when I was in college, and I definitely still can't. Even a group of four people, I don't think I'd have the skill to do this. But yeah, you should really pick this up. I'll put up a, put up a link in the uh, comments. It's freeware to download. It's a very short game, very fun. You have to put a 360 controller. Well, you don't have to, but it's got a rumble in it. It makes it feel so much more intense. So, um, I'm very much looking forward to, uh, Edmund McMillan's The Binding of Isaac. It's coming out tomorrow. I don't know who the, uh, crap! Don't know who the programmer he's doing it with is, but, um, it's not the same, uh, person you worked with on Super Meat Boy. Uh, it's someone else. I don't know if he's done any other collabs with them, but... Binding of Isaac is looking pretty sweet. Man, I'm doing terrible at this, aren't I? Um, it's on Steam already. Unlocks in... I'd say about a day from now, exactly. And I look forward to very many games, but his art style is... is probably... His art style and his, um... Humor is just super great. He also, well, like I said, he did Super Mario. He also did um, Gish and uh, some cool Flash games like uh, Aether and uh, there was well, there's Aether and there's uh, uh, also Cunt or also known as the C word on um, Newgrounds. All of his stuff's on Newgrounds, you can just check him out there. I think his name is like Blue Boy or something like that. I'm not really sure. But yeah. I'm definitely gonna do a let's play of that for a couple of hours. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you should see this on Impossible, it's one hit kills for everything, and the levels are like twice as long, and everything is so much harder too. <laughs> and I'm having trouble with just just as it is. I played uh, Impossible, got to the air right before here, and pretty much just died like 50 times in a row, I had to restart it on normal, because it's just... When they say Impossible, they're not kidding. You have to admire the visuals here. It's just so awesome. Visuals, the sound, the atmosphere, especially all these little glowing key distortions. Now that's something I don't think I've ever seen in the game, at least used as well as this. Sorry, I was looking at the visuals. <laughs> now, I wonder if any of these guys ever got a Gotta drop one of the big um, man, or not manufacturers. <laughs> so I, I'm used to going to school with a bunch of engineers that get jobs at uh, get jobs at GM and Ford and stuff. No, um, I wonder if they ever got a job with uh, any of the big um, game studios because uh, I'd definitely hire someone on it did uh, at least the visuals for this. I wouldn't say that the programming or the gameplay is especially. Um, innovative or aggressive, but this game's all about the atmosphere. I'm not gonna die in normal mode. No, sir. Oh, I didn't give a fuck about that last laser. Went right through it. 
See that face? See that face? That face does not give a fuck. Watch this. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Really short playthrough. Um, go check it out and see how terrible your computer is in comparison to mine. I actually, uh, I'm a little disappointed. I had a I had to scale back on something for the first time since I bought my computer about two years ago. And I was, uh, damn, running fraps at 50 FPS with this thing maxed out and graphics all the way. Oh, my friend. Okay, well, this has been Kim of Flames, and uh, until next time.